and welcome to Divana Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name is Nicole Reed, and today I'm going to show you how to do the embroidery stitch fishbone. So this one I recently used in a stitchery that a free stitchery that we have at Divana Lee Designs. I did a collaboration with Tia from Calm Creations, and basically we came up with a little stitchery. Uh, for you that was for the be well and stitch uh, hashtag over on Instagram so you can see that picture just here and I used it on the leaves so now I'm going to show you in a little bit closer detail on how to do that so let's get started <laughs> Alright, so you've traced out your embroidery and you can see here that the fishbone stitch um, has like a vein going down the center. So it lends itself perfectly for this sort of thing for leaves. So on the stitchery, as you've seen earlier, um, I used it on the vine that goes in the circle. And so I have been asked to show this stitch as well. And plus I don't know, already have it in our um, catalog. So basically... I only ever use it for this sort of shape leaf. I haven't really used it for anything else, but you could uh, apply it to many different um, shapes, as long as you've got that center line or some sort of center line to um, follow along. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to thread up your needle, which I've already done off camera, and then you're just going to come in up at the point. So hopefully this won't move around too much. Um, so you can see there that I've just got this center line here, and that's more of a guide for me. So you're coming up at the point and that's where you're going to take your first stitch. Okay. And then all you're going to do is pull that through. And I generally use this with, um, you can use it just with two strands, but um, a little bit thicker gives you a more detail. Now in the stitchery, I only used two strands because the leaves were quite small. So the bigger the leaves, the more strands you would use. So if this leaf was half the size, I'd probably use three or four strands. Today, I'm actually using six strands. So you want to come down about a quarter of an inch, you know, a little on the fat side if you need to be, and you're just going to go down into that. Next thing you're going to do is, I've got a leg on my stand right there, so I'm trying to get around it. So um, you're going to come up on the line that you've drawn, just below where you've come in, but not with a big gap. You're going to come in just below and beside. So hopefully you can see that. So I've just come in beside that first stitch. And then I'm going to go down. So you can see I've gone into the fabric just there. I'm just going to come just below it on that line. So not quite in that hole, but just below it. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the left hand side. Those first three stitches are the trickiest ones, just to get the placement right. And then I'm going to again just come down just below it. And then we're just going to go left and right, coming down, coming up just below our previous stitch. And we're just going to fill in the leaf. Now just remember not to go down into the hole or come up in where you've... So you can see there it's starting to, to come in on itself. So you're going to get that vein coming down the leaf. And it just gives it a little bit more detail. And you just go left and right. And you can see it's starting to take shape now. Got a bit of a knot underneath. And I just go all the way down and um, tracing. Essentially, I'm just coloring in the leaf um, with my thread. So you're just going along that line, just down from where you took your previous stitch, and you're going in that center part of that leaf. And 
that gives you your nice little vein there. And you want to, to get it nice and straight, you want to stay directly under each one. I mean, if you go a little bit wobbly, that's okay because, I mean, it is a leaf and, you know, nothing is ever, ever perfect. But give it a go. Like, it will add some dimension to your um, embroidery and it's another easy, simple stitch to... Um, to do it's it's similar to the satin stitch so if you've been practicing practicing your satin stitch um, you'll find this one to be very easy taking our last stitch now and basically all you do is you come down and that's covered in all the area you can see it's got that nice vein down the center so it makes the leaf look that little bit more realistic and to finish off all I do is I come back up and hopefully not get a knot So I come back up and then I go back down and then I'll just come up again and then down between the stitches and that will just reduce some of the bulk on the back especially if you're using multiple strands. And then I'll weave that up through the back of the um, of the the leaf, 
and then I'll just snip it off and that's not going to come out and I can rub it and you can see there that it's nicely secured. All right, so I hope that you really enjoyed this little tutorial on how to do the fishbone stitch. If you do end up doing it on the stitchery, please share the pictures over in our Facebook group because we'd love to see what you're um, up to and how you're going with some of our tutorials. So as I said, thank you so much for joining me today. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below. And if you like this video today, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and then that way you won't miss out on any future posts. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye for now.